Welcome back to BBB Adventures, a special episode of BBB Adventures. Special why? Well, let me explain. It's special because first of all, we're releasing it on Sunday, which is out of sequence. We, we normally release on Saturday. We released yesterday, the last day of Ragbri. Hope you watched that, hope you enjoyed it. This episode occurs the evening of that day. So this, the, the filming of this episode happened on the, on the evening of the last day of Ragbri. Uh, this episode is special also because this episode's about bourbon. And I had uh, a unique opportunity relative to tasting some bourbon that this episode is about. But let me give you some context, some background. Grant and Lori, who are friends of ours, live very close to the end town of Ragbright 2024. They graciously offered their home as a place for us to stay after Ragbright, and we took them up on it. And so we went to hang out with them. Their son, Chase, was also there. And he brought from his home uh, a a sampling of his collection of bourbon. Chase is a bourbon connoisseur, and he was gracious enough to uh, present me the opportunity to test some bourbons, uh, and some bourbons that are hard to find, hard to get, and in, and, and in some ways mystical. Some of these bourbons you've, I've heard about, you may have heard about them. I didn't think in my lifetime I'd ever have a chance to sample them. But thanks to the generosity of Chase, that's what this episode's about. I want to give a special shout out to Grant and Lori for opening up their home to us. We had a fantastic time hanging out with them. And a special thanks to Chase who brought these fantastic bourbons from his collection for me to have an opportunity to taste them. My goal with this introduction was to just explain a little bit about this video because I do believe it's special, it's different. I believe you're gonna enjoy it, stick around, but here we go. So Ragbri, the writing part of Ragbri may be over, but we, we were offered to stay uh, at our friend's house, Grant and Lori, they're friends of ours. They're, they're, Grant, you've seen Grant on the videos. He's, uh, he's an EMT for Ragbri. He used to be an R5 and uh, He's helped us many times when Mary Beth was diagnosed with uh, high blood pressure. So this is Grant, our friend. From R5. From R5. Ambulance R5. R5. He was helping figure that out. And uh, this is his son, Chase. Chase is a physician. He's got a degree and he's got documentation and letters after his name. It, it's, it's legit. It's, it's a totally legit thing. Anyway, this is all this booze, all this bourbon belongs to Chase, and he has graciously offered a tasting festival. So we're going to start the tasting festival. Based on uh, the doctor's recommendations, and you should always follow a doctor's recommendation, this is the sequence at which we will be tasting the bourbons today. And we're going to finish it up with the, with the creme de la creme, the pappy, the pappy pappy, the stuff everybody talks about but nobody ever gets to taste. The and rag, it's the rag rye bourbon play. Yeah, this is the rag, rag rye, rye million, the, the million dollar rag, or the millionaire's rag rye bourbon fly, or something like bourbon that. Flight. Bourbon fly. And we're starting with the Colonel. Colonel E.H. Taylor. E. H. Taylor. E. H. Yeah. Mm. I knew him when he was a lieutenant. Oh, I see. E.H. Taylor. It's caramel. Mm -hmm. It's that's, super caramel. That's great, folks. I get a lot of caramel vanilla notes. Oh, yeah, super caramelly. Oh, it smells really good. It smells really good. This is my second favorite juice. E.H. Colonel E.H. Taylor. Mm. You might need a little more water because mm. I add a little more bourbon. Mm. And again, you don't, not a lot, but just open. The water, for those of you who are amateurs and not professionals like Chase and I, the water opens it up. Yeah, this I, don't, I don't, I don't, do the same someone thing, said right? that. I don't know really what opening it up means, but. So um, this is bottled at 50% alcohol. Most alcohol is bottled at 35 percent and uh, the common wisdom says that it's best enjoyed around 35 percent you'll get as much of the alcohol burn uh, and you can taste more oh yeah than just the, oh yeah, yeah. The fire. that second taste way smoother yeah. yeah would ice cubes do the same thing yeah um but and it, I, but it changes it the water makes it constant the ice cubes will continue yeah, to it'll change continue to melt will continue to thin it oh so um, it's not an, if it's what not you're looking for is to know, like if you try and pull, 
put a little bit of that in your mouth and pull air through it like don't you do, do a that. wine tasting. Do that. It'll burn your adenoids. <laughs> What's, what are my adenoids again? Are they the ones down there? They're right next to your kidneys. Oh, oh, oh are the kidneys up here? You, you need those. Yeah. So you can. I, you know, I already had all the kids I need. I'm how you got to get out of bed in the middle of the night if your kidneys aren't working? <laughs> if your adenoids clean. I have all the children I want, so maybe my adenoids are okay. Well, then have a slug. <laughs> Dive in. Oh, that is. I just think that's a nice. It's delicious. That's my second favorite sipper of everything up there. It's delicious. And it's actually it maybe my first favorite, but just because the Pappy Van Winkle resells for between twenty five hundred and three thousand bucks, I gotta call that number one. It's pretty good. You know what? This is. You you get that you get the caramel mm -hmm. stuff, but also it's sweet. It's smooth and sweet. Yeah. It's the wheat. The Weller is quite a bit sweeter. To, to mm -hmm. my palate, at least. And I'm not uh, the most sophisticated, but... Mm. What's that you have there? This is lemon water. This is to cleanse the palate in between tastes. But you Smart. can't... Yeah, and I've rinsed my glass with the lemon water so as I don't mix the bourbons, because some of these aren't compatible. I thought you got a fresh glass. Mm -mm. I've rinsed my other glass. What do we got now, Doctor? Uh, so this is Booker's. Uh, as far as I know, the same mash bill, same recipe as standard uh, uh, Jim Beam White Label. Uh, this is aged seven years, two months, 29 days, and it's bottled at 63%, 63.9% alcohol. So this is going to want a little bit of water. Ooh, that's a high octane. St stiff. You, you can cleanse a wound with it. Mm. Oh, that's totally different than this other mm -hmm. stuff, isn't it? I don't get I don't get nearly as much caramel, but I've only had this one a couple of times. That's funny. Yeah. All right, doctor, you put the water in. You know the so, right, again, you know the right mixture. We're trying to get somewhere around 35, so we'll we'll add a little dollop and kind of test as we go. No, Andy, if you're gonna chew this up, you don't get it. No. <laughs> It's, there's a little caramel, but it's not... I get a lot of spice out of this one. A lot of people say the Jim Bean finish is real cherry. I get more cherry out of the, the patty. Not here, but I'm also, I'm almost getting like baking spices from this one. It tastes almost Christmassy. You want, you want a little bit? Yeah, I, I better get into this. Are you qualified? <laughs> You pull, don't pull air through it. I know, I'm trying, that's how I tell how hot, if it's hot, if I pull air through it and it, I told you it's hot. It's definitely hotter than the last step. What I'm getting, when I, when I pull the air through it's it, it's 15% higher. Is oh. bourbon. I'm getting bourbon notes. Yeah, bourbon. Like, you can, the oak. Am I the only one? The oak barrel. Still a little hot. You're still up around 42%. <laughs> Wait, get your percent meter out. Yeah. Where's your percent meter? Right here. See, I don't get I don't get as much caramel, but I get kind of the baking spice. Um, What's the baking spice? So, sort of Christmas spices, um, nutmeg, clove. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I get a little clove on the back end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do too. The yeah. back of the throat. No, you said that. Yeah. I get I'm getting a little clove. Some of that might be the power of suggestion. Nope. Um, some people think they get like stone fruit from some of these bourbons, so plum, the new stone fruit, uh, cherry. Yeah, peach is a little probably too subtle. I definitely get cherry from like the Van Winkles. Yeah. It's good though. Mm -hmm. uh, although what, you know what? I like the first one better. Yeah. Do they actually use these stone fruits? In mm -hmm. the no, that's the no. thing. So this is- That's the magic. This is some combination of corn. So bourbon has to be- 51%. 51% corn legally. Uh, and then I don't know the exact mash bill, but I think it's m probably mostly barley. Uh, maybe a little rye? I don't know. And then, um, and then the, the third ingredient is either going to be rye or wheat. Yeah. And so you get a weeded bourbon, third ingredient is wheat, if it's rye, obviously. Yeah. And then all of the color and a lot of the flavor comes from the, the white oak. So it's a charred white oak barrel. And it so. has a lot to do with where they're grown and the atmosphere and all that too. Mm -hmm. and, and you have to be a cooper if you're going to make a barrel. That's yeah, true. we went to a, we went to one of the cooper just in Kentucky. It's very cool. Yeah. When they fire them, it smells like marshmallow, like mm. like toasted marshmallow. 
True. It's so there's, there's like a compound. Well, you knew that right, because you were Cooper. Well, because my last name is Cooper, when we toured at Cooperage one time, I instantly knew what to do. Did they ask you? Yeah, it was like, it was down. in my DNA. I'm like, oh, you, you put that metal, re that ring on wrong. Let me see, get, just give me the hammer. Like an eagle pulling a fish. Yeah, it was just like, I, it just came out of nowhere. Right I had no idea. Mass. Yeah, right. right. How, does a, how does a bird know how to fly? Just the same way I know how to make a barrel. Exactly. That's right. Yeah, it's genetic. Nope. I have no idea how to make a barrel. So this is the Weller 12 year. Um, same company as the E.H. Taylor and the Pappy, interestingly. Uh, it's a weeded bourbon. So there's a certain amount of uh, uh, wheat is one of the grains that it's produced with. And weeded bourbons tend to be sweeter uh, for whatever reason. I guess probably more sugar. Probably the sugar, yeah. yeah. Probably the sugar is what's making them well, sweeter. There's a lot of sugar in corn too, and it's 51% corn. But... Mm -hmm. um, and this one's also bottled at 45%, so it's a lot mellower out of the bottle than especially the Booker's. Um, let's try it out. Oh, I've not had this. Oh, there's a little piece of ice in there, huh? There. Don't be, don't, don't. Did you cleanse that? Oh, I did. Yeah, that's why there's a piece of ice in it. Okay. Don't muck it up. Do you I'm want like some, it. Dad? Yeah. You get your Marty Moose mug? Yes. Traditional. <laughs> I'm not half the well or 12. This was Chase's birthday. Whoa! Chase's birthday is. Uh, Mar Marty Moose. You're gonna water it with, for me? Are you familiar with Christmas vacation? Hey! Yes. Uh, oh my god, where did you get that? I, I, I found it for him. I couldn't be more Christmas. surprised if I woke up oh, tomorrow with my awesome. head sewed to the carpet. Say, so I know she put less water in this time. Yeah, it's, it's, hot. it's already pretty soft. <clears throat> Let me do it. Um, I mean, it may need a little bit more. I think some of you dripped on, but I'll, I'll let you try it and tell me what you think. That is sweet. Sweet like candy. Especially yeah. after. That is real sweet. So you don't get as oh, much I... caramel, or I don't, off the nose. I feel like I smell cherry. Maybe. Weller, Weller is a very similar mash bill to, to Pappy. Same building. Same, same facility. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some cherry. A little caramel and Let's cherry. Call it cherry. It's like caramel if cherry. If you say it's cherry, it's cherry. Okay, Moose. Marty Moose, thank you. Yeah. All right, here we go. First taste. That's real good. It's very good. Wow. That is totally different profile, isn't mm -hmm. it? So this is an extremely hard, for whatever reason, the Wellers are, they have eight different colored labels. Yeah. The black label is hard to find, but this is the one oh leader. Oh this is fantastic. It's very good. This is my favorite so far. It's very so good. So this is about it. I think we paid, this is his birthday. His birthday's next week, so I gave him his birthday, one of his birthday presents early. It's about 265 Happy bucks for that bottle right there. But it's worth it. It is. It's very good. It's like eating, it's like candy. It's, it's like eating candy. Especially after the bookers. And the weird thing is, if you tried it, you probably like, this doesn't taste like candy at all. So I get it in my... Mm. I blow out through my nose with it on my tongue, and and I'm just I'm getting some mm. some, some strange nose. Weller 12, yeah. black you, label. You can get find, yours today. You can find the I've got a, a Weller green. So this is the Van Winkle Special Reserve, uh, 12 year 12 years old. This is the second youngest uh, bottle that Van Winkle makes. So. Um, True Pappy purists will say that since it doesn't have a picture of Pappy on the front, it's not true It's Pappy. fake. But those people are just mean-spirited. Yeah. We don't like them. No. It's the same stuff. It's just, it's not as aged. And how, when, when did, when... Does that smell? Mm. That does smell good. Right, it's, this is bottled at 45%. You can see you got another bottle under the bed. So... I've, did you check after we left? That's a good point. <laughs> so maybe since this is Pappy, maybe try this one oh. neat. Oh, that's a good add, idea. Add water to taste. This is the 12. I, I, I'm super excited about this. I've been so wanting this, to do this for years. This bottle retails for a hundred something, but you usually you can't find it for any less than know. seven, eight hundred dollars, unless you're my dad. <sighs> it is fruity. This is the cherry stuff. Yeah, it's fruity. I'm just gonna add. And supposedly, did you try it? Did you yeah. taste it? <laughs> supposedly, it's because of where they cut the wood for the staves. 
I'm What's the proof of this? This is 45. So it probably doesn't need much water. I literally just dropped a couple drops off my fingers. And yeah, thus, you drop a couple drop off your fingers in mine. My fingers. Are well, you're a surgeon. I'm assuming you're, you're I'm a not, doctor. Well, you're, technically in Missouri, I'm considered a doctor and a surgeon, but I'm not. I don't do surgery. Uh, you know how to scrub. I'm assuming they you teach you in doctor you school how to do this. Just did a surgical airway a couple weeks ago. Then you got to do this. I'm count that. And then you do this, and then the gloves go on, mm, and you got the mask and everything. It's a whole thing. So I, I watch a lot of TV. Music in the background. Yeah. We've all seen Mash. Yeah. You know, helicopter. <clears throat> That's pretty good. So it's good, but you know, it's not significantly. It's I mean, not it's, four it's times not, better. It's not four times better than that. Weller. Wellers. It's really not. No. And these are the same age, made by the same people. Yeah. yeah. And so, they're and they're they're a very similar mash bill. Uh, recipe. Yeah, almost not identical. identical. For you non-taters. Yeah, I get, I get, I get mm. stone fruit from the, the you know what? line. That's the, subtle. The difference too is that there's no, the aftertaste. There's nothing bitter. There's nothing unpleasant about the aftertaste. A lot of people say that's the cherry. Well, yeah, the it's it's the, the the after is clean. Yeah, it's clean. It's a great word. Yeah, there's no burning. There's no. Yeah. It's just, it's just a continuation of yeah. of what you're tasting. Yeah. Mm. But you're right. It, you're completely right. It's 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 very good. It's not four times better than no. Yeah. It's it's outstanding, but it's not. Yeah. Part of the no, much of the appeal is the, the rarity. The average. In fact, what I'm going to do when that bottle's empty, <clears throat> you give me that bottle. I'm going to pour some Weller's in it, and then I'll impress my friends. Well, this other stuff, this other trash, like this Weller 12, <laughs> and this E.H. Taylor, <laughs> as it's in your. At, after you take a sip, it kind of rolls off, and it, I don't know, you get a little bit of bitter, you get a little bit of that, you know, like Jack Daniels Jim Beam stuff, you know, Saturday night, we're at the, you know, the race track, and it's the flat tracks, and, and Billy Bobby may do well, he may not, and it's just, but this stuff just hangs in there, and it's elegant, it has oh, an elegant aftertaste. That's a great description. It, it's just, it's just, it, it's a, it's a level above all this, you know, this, this, Hundred and fifty dollar a bottle of trash. <laughs> I'm poor people juice. I just want to say, this is. If you can see it, that's all I got. Lesson. I just want to say, I'm. I'm gonna miss you when you're gone. I love you. He's pretty generous with the twelve. Because there's another bottle into the bed. He's getting oh, God, for Christmas. Dude. Oh my God. Don't light a cigar. Uh, no. Although he has a cigar. Can we, do, can we have the lights on? Is that okay? There is light. I mean, there might be a spark. We could, oh. This whole thing could go up. You make Pappy, Pappy 15. So this is bottled at uh, Give me a minute. Hold on, hold on. Pappy's lighting a cigar. Well, is that safe? safe? Are we in Tristan safe here? Should I do a, a amperage check? <laughs> Let's unplug the refrigerator. Oh, yeah. It's easy. Hey, no, no, I don't want to drink. You cleanse you that. Cleanse that. Yeah, I did. I did. I this is nitroglycerin. No, it's this cleansed. This is dynamite. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a big pour. That is so jammed. We well, don't get here. Probably that. still a little short of it. You don't get here that often. Oh my god. This stuff is the crap. So this is this is bottled at 53.5. This is my favorite pour of all time. So again, and maybe again, it might be a little bit in my coconut, but maybe sip it neat just to try it. But if if it's, you're probably going to want to add a little. Here, you need a, you need a notebook. That means wow. it's, it smells so good. It smells good. This I can, is, I, how long would it take me to just smell it away? This is the cherry. Alcohol is volatile. This is the cherry right here. Yeah, you it's totally cherry. You don't get this cherry is yet. like, yeah, I'm looking for the cherry pie, the cherry, cherry tree. Yet. This, this is yeah. your nose blind. Are you sure they don't? Put, if you don't get cherry, this, you should go home. Yeah. Get ready to go home. Okay. That smells better than the other stuff I smell. Yeah. That's why it's a three thousand dollar bottle. Yeah. But even you think it smells good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it just smells so good. I don't want to stop smelling it. Ready? He's going in. Mm. It is a little hot though. It's yeah. Old, it's, it, it wants. It's it's, it's ten, hot. It's ten percent more than it's ten. Perfect. It it's wants. Hot. It wants a couple yeah. drops. Yeah. You're not it, gonna want to make sour out of that. No. Doctor me up. It makes a fine bread pudding. Maybe a couple more. Mm. I don't have a I don't have a, a, a dipper here, a dropper. 
Your fingers work pretty good. Yeah, they're they're pretty He's clean. He's a surgeon. They're calibrated He's fingers. He's a surgeon. Yeah. Don't hurt yourself. Cover your best eye. <laughs> you know, it's really good. It's really, really, really good. good. I mean, I don't. It's hard to believe it's thirty-five hundred dollars good or whatever, but it's yeah. pretty good. Well, that's, a lot of people say that that is the best patty that there mm. is. Yeah, the longer the, the, the twenty pit. year and the twenty three years, they get real oaky. They say this fifteen is as good as it gets. No, I don't take this. This isn't oaky at all. This is fruity. Yeah, but the twenty yeah, and the twenty three, they say, gets a little oaky. Oh, you know, there's no. It's really not caramel. Yeah. Or vanilla necessarily. It's total. But, but again, some sort of fruit. But again, let it set there for a minute before you go back in and just fuck that. It just, it, it just doesn't go away. It just hangs in there. It's mm. elegant. I'm. I'm a, I'm gonna. Mm. And this is. Mm. Mm. So good. Well, today I was able to experience something that honestly I never thought I would experience in my life. Seriously, never thought I would. And that is, I got to taste this. And if you're a bourbon aficionado, or if you know anything about bourbon, you know what this is. This is Pappy Van Winkle. This is the, this is it. This is, this is as good as it gets. And I was just telling these nice folks that now that I've tasted this, I'm ruined for life and you know, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I may just quit. I may quit drinking, because you once you've hit the pinnacle, what 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 do I have to look forward to? They've they. It seems like they were doing me a favor, but the truth is they've ruined me. So I'm out. I'm done. I'm checking out. But I I do want to say. Uh, I want to express my gratitude to Dr. Chase for allowing me to taste this the unobtainable bottle of bourbon. Uh, he's a very generous, very, very generous man. Not one, thanks to his two. mother. And, uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, no, I really, it's, it's the super special experience. And so thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Cheers.